Hi there, Toy here, and I'm trying something different. So I have been threatening for years to do whip updates and have just never fallen through. For me, I think um, I always just kind of use my blog as like a default. <laughs> so because I would be, you know, updating my blog readers on a regular basis, I would just forget to um, put things out there on YouTube. And so I am going to rectify that. The reason why I'm going to do that is because I have now developed the habit of doing monthly updates for my Patreon followers. Um, it's a wonderfully supportive community. It's small right now, but I'm hoping it's going to grow. And so because I've developed the habit of doing that, I'm going to start um, doing my whip updates when I do my updates for my Patreon community. So there are certain things that I share with them because, you know, they are supporting me financially, but there are still things that I can share with you guys without taking away from the benefits that, you know, that they're supporting me with. So um, I do a monthly update for them where I give them all kinds of information about what's going on with my writing and stuff. And so I'm going to be sharing some of that with you guys. Um, one thing that I did mention to my Patreon supporters um, with their monthly update for January was that last year they helped me write 13 short stories. And that may not seem like a big deal to you guys, but for someone who for the past couple of years has struggled to find time to write, to find motivation to write, it was a huge accomplishment. Um, having that community there, knowing that I needed to be providing content on a monthly basis really um, was a wonderful accountability measure, you know, and so I, it really helped me be more creative. And so um, I just wanted to let you know that, that I can actually do these whip updates because I am writing. Um, I am clearly not writing at the level that I would like to. I used to be able to write a book a year and, you know, that was amazing, but things change. And so I can't do what I used to do, but that doesn't mean that I can't do anything. So, um, I literally just recorded my update video for one of my upper tiers because they get a, um, a, a an original short story every month. So um, here's letting you know that I did my short story for the month of January. Um, I can't you know tell you about it and everything, but um, I I was excited. It was the story, and I will include a link below because um, it's it's free and open to the public. It's not like something special. The story that I wrote for them this month was based on a story that I wrote a while back. It's on my blog, so I'll include the link. And I expressed to them that when I originally wrote the story, it was for a writing challenge that I used to participate in, a thousand words or less. And I basically created this fantasy world and I, I really liked it. In the moment that I wrote it, I knew I wanted to expand it, but I never did. I mean, throughout the years, I've always gone back to it and I've written little notes here. I'm like, oh, this is going to be good here. This is going to be good. And I just have all of these notes that I've been writing about this world, but I never actually sit down and wrote, you know, a string of words to perform a paragraph, to perform, you know, a story. And so um, I'm trapped in my house <laughs> because of COVID. I'm not trapped. I chose to be here. I'm taking precautions and all that kind of stuff. But I was just, I don't know, I was inspired to go back and look at that story and develop this world. And so that was the story that I gave those um, supporters in the month of January. It's a fantasy story. Um, you know, I, I am one of those people who is a kind of a realist, which sometimes I think <laughs> hinders my creativity. But I do believe that there's not a whole lot of new ideas out there. With that said, I definitely feel that there is always a new perspective, that you can always have a fresh take on something. And I feel like this world that I've created, um, for me, I haven't read anything quite like it. Um, I'm not saying that this is like mind-blowing, award-winning Pulitzer Prize. This is not what I'm saying at all. I'm just saying for me, this is one of the, um, the few ideals that I'm actively working on that I feel is truly 
unique for me and I'm excited about it. So the installment that I gave, you know, my supporters, I want to say it came out to be like 850 words. So it wasn't long and that's okay. Um, for me, 800 words is monumental. Um, I know it, for me saying it probably doesn't feel like it, but it, it really is. And so um, my goal is to write you know, five, six, maybe seven installments of this story, because I know how I want to tell the story. And then, you know, um, have that it'll be ultimately when it's finished about, um, you know, six or 7,000 words. And I think that'll be a very nice um, short story. And so on top of the goals that I already have with my patrons, I'm hoping that they're looking forward to this serial that I'm going to be working on. I did not promise them to um, have a serial installment every month. Um, I promised to them is an original story every month. So that they will get an original story every month. It just may not always be an installment of this series, but there definitely will be installments of this series for them. I have ongoing projects that I'm always trying to work on and always struggling to find the time. But when I do, um, I will you know, give you some information about that. Again, I won't be giving you a whole lot of details because that is one of the perks for those guys. So I'm not gonna take that away from them, but I have been, like I said, promising for years to do whip updates and I haven't done it. And I'm just like, I need to start doing it. So that was, um, I guess my first whip update. It's January, 2022 um, recap. <laughs> In the year um, 2021, I wrote 13 original short stories, which I still am having trouble processing that because it's been so long since I've written so much. Um, for the month of January, I have completed one short story. I actually started another story. I was going to give my supporters a different story, and it just did not pan out. So I have another story that I'm actively working on right now. So I actually wrote way more than 8,000 words. 8,000. <laughs> I wish. <laughs> I actually wrote more than 800 words in January. It's just an 800 words of a completed story. So um, this was just kind of thrown together. The next time I actually sit down to do one of these whip updates, I will have like exact word counts and things like that to share with you. But I was just excited about it. And I, it just clicked with me as I was recording the update for my Patreon supporters that I could give my channel subscribers updates too um, without crossing those lines, but just sharing with you guys what I'm doing because um, I love the fact that you guys subscribe to my channel, that you, you know, look at my content and I hope the content is enjoyable. <laughs> but anyway, so this is the end of this video and hopefully I will have more whip updates to come. Guys, stay safe out there. Be blessed.